After a disappointing show in the London Rugby 7 series, Kenya will have to go back to the drawing board in a bid to improve on the overall performance achieved in this year's international rugby circuits. Kenya lost all the matches in the last leg in England, played at the Twickenham Rugby Stadium, where Mitch Ochola's boys managed only one single point. Kenya's best performance was during the Las Vegas leg in the United States, where the team won the plate trophy 21-7 against Argentina. Kenya started this year's campaign with an underpar performance in Australia, where the team picked only a single point. It was the first International Rugby Board Series assignment for Mitch Ochola, as he had opted for junior players as opposed to the aging players. Makeshift changes were made in the squad as Kenya collected two points in Dubai, as well as South Africa. An impressive eight points were gained in New Zealand, 13 from USA, eight in Hong Kong leg, two in Japan, three in Scotland and only one point in the just concluded London series. Kenyans expect a lot. We expect to be in the main cup quarters. That was the standard we set. But uh, the performances have not been uh, what we expect. So we are going to look at the problems and uh, we're going to set them straight because we have qualified for the next World Cup 7s, which is next year. Subsequent changes have been made in the 7th rugby team this season as Kenya struggled in the IRB series. The Kenya Rugby Union expects the team to be more agile in future as it focuses on World Cup qualification. As the nine circuits came to a close on Sunday in England, New Zealand was crowned the overall series champions with a total of 167 points. London Lake champions Fiji was second, six points adrift of the All Blacks. England was third on 135 points, Samoa on fourth with 133 points, while South Africa completed the top five with 125 points. Australia took the sixth position with 112 points, followed closely by Argentina, Wales, France and Scotland, who complete the top 10 HSBC 7th World Series standings. United States took the 11th position with 41 points, one point clear of Kenya, who lies in the 12th position. Canada, Spain and Portugal complete the top 15 teams, despite not participating in all the International Rugby Board Series. Let Kenyans have uh, faith in us. We have done it before. Uh, we have the experience. The team is talented. It's just to see where things went wrong. We'll analyze critically. Um, we will not sacrifice anybody really just for the sake of that, but we will do whatever needs to be done to right the situation so that we are competitive at the beginning of uh, the season. In the meantime, the 29th edition of Black Rock Rugby Festive will kick off this weekend at the St. Mary School, with 24 teams expected to challenge for the title. Defending champion St. Mary School will get tough opposition from Lenana School, Moy Forces Academy, Strathmore, Aquinas, Hillcrest and Parklands. Mangu High School alongside the hosts will be sponsored with the playing kit from Resolution Health. Logistics have been put in place in order to improve on the publicity of the game at the grassroots level. We expect the minimal club to be insured by us. And the only way you can do that is to enter rugby at all levels. We don't want just to, to, to be involved at national team level. We need to capture our, 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 our clients early at, at high school level. Who want to work closely with clubs such as Impala. Our model has always been based on, on youth the exuberance of youth and uh, the unique abilities that they bring and that's the model which we're going to promote. So going forward you'll see a lot more partnerships of this nature being developed and thriving. The Kenya Rugby Union will focus on youth development in order to increase the playing base. Key structures will help increase the competitiveness of junior rugby with proper feeder development systems for the junior teams. Uh, Baka Collins, GBS News.